dear students i shall continue the discussion on the integral calculus which will be another module that is called module number 3 in advanced mathematics first that is for mat dip 301 so for up to the previous discussion we had taken about the differential calculus now this is integral calculus which consists of two chapters one chapter that is reduction formula and another one is beta gamma functions this comes in module number 3 that is under the subject title that is subject uh, code uh, module 3 of mat dip 301 in the integral calculus reduction formula and related problems we discuss and beta and gamma functions so these two topics we discuss on the application of uh, integral symbol that is a single integral we don't do that uh, double integral but in the case of beta and gamma functions only double integral once we will come across to derive some standard relation now let me start with uh, the integral calculus the first part of it that is a reduction formula here uh, the first topic includes three important discussions reduction formula of integration sin to the power nx and dx and that is 0 to pi by 2 it is sin to the power nx into dx this is first one second one reduction formula of cos to the power nx it is dx and 0 to pi by 2 it is cos to the power nx and dx and the third one that is same thing reduction formula of integration product of these two according to your syllabus these three results are there that is sin to the power nx into oh sorry here mx and cos to the power nx dx uh, and its definite integral value 0 to pi by 2 it is sin to the power <laughs> mx cos to the power nx and then it is dx now i shall derive one expression here integral of sin to the power nx what is the reduction formula and i shall derive the value of the definite integral and similar uh, type of discussion will happen in this one and in this it is a product of two trigonometric functions single trigonometric function is first result that is with respect to sin and another uh, trigonometric function cos as a second result and product of these two as the third result now i shall discuss the first result uh, reduction formula of integration sin to the power nx anyway according to the syllabus it is not clear it is uh, without uh, book work or uh, with book work it is only they, they mentioned as uh, reduction formula but to be on the safer side both you study as uh, simple book work as well as problem on this result okay integration of sin to the power nx later i will calculate what is the value of this definite integral okay first let me represent this one uh, in the uh, form of some symbol define in because integration n this is the integration symbol in is equal to it is sin to the power nx and it is dx now here what we will do we will split this power that is sin to the power nx in the form of n minus 1 and n because the product formula we are going to apply <coughs> that is sin x okay and sin to the power n minus 1x dx this n can be written as 1 and plus of because uh, base is same powers can be added <coughs> that is sin to the power 1 and sin to the power n minus 1 okay uh, if you take base is same then it will give back the same result that is sin to the power nx so this i will take it as first function and this i will take it as second function <coughs> uh, that is uh, second fun uh, sorry this i will take it as first function 
and this I will take it as sin to the power n. I will put this afterwards I will put this in another form that is first function uh, sorry second function and first function. I will put in another form in the next step. Okay. Now this is by integration by parts <coughs> then I n what is integration by parts a formula that is u into v should be dx z equal to u into v1 minus uh, that is first function into integral of second function and integral of differential of first function that is u dash into v2 and plus so on. This is called the generalized formula for integration by parts where u and v are functions of x. Otherwise, you can write like this first function, first function into integral, <coughs> integral of second function, integral of second function minus integral of, integral of differentiation of first function and into integral of second integral of second means second function okay then what is that uh, integration and differentiation but how you have to select the differentiation and integration how you have to go for it and then what is the advantage you are going to notice and how the reduction formula is to be written we will see that now integration by parts so first function sin to the power uh, n minus 1 x into integration of second because as it is you cannot integrate. Now integration of sin x is minus of it is cos x <coughs> minus integral of differential of first function that is according to this formula integral of differential of first function n minus 1 sin to the power it is n minus 2 x into sin x is cos x. Okay. Then uh, what you have to do uh, that must be <coughs> that is sin x and cos x first into integral of second and uh, minus uh, integral of differential of first means this power as it is and the integration uh, sorry differential of first function means sin to the power n minus 1 and sin to the power n minus 1 minus 1 that makes us 2. But here the coefficient n minus 1 will come as uh, the constant for the sin function. Then sin x uh, integration is this that is dx. Okay. Now this is equal to minus of cos x right minus of cos x into it is sin to the power n minus 1 x and this minus sign of n minus 1 I will put outside <coughs> and what is that uh, integration that is twice integration you have to write that is sin x integral of differential of first into integration of second into integration that means twice integration of this one. Therefore, first into integral of second that is cos x minus integral of differential of first into integration of second integration of second means that is cos x okay as it is you write sin to the power n minus 2 x and then it is cos x this is for i n right then what is this uh, uh, sin to the power n minus 2 and uh, uh, this can be splitted as sin to the power n minus 2 into sin to the power minus 2 okay so twice integration differentiation of this and twice integration of this okay then twice integration will give us cos uh, this function first into integral of second that is cos x minus integral of differential of first function into integration of second function according to this formula now if you represent the quantity by means of in like this and we can transpose this in to the left side so how that i n uh, can be written once again you can take this as uh, integration 
then the term can be shifted. But according to this formula, here a bottom symbols will, int, uh, will represent the integrals and uh, uh, superscript symbols will uh, 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 define the differential. That means uh, twice integration. Okay. So, twice integration means we can write minus cos x and sin to the power that is n minus 1 uh, n minus 1 x and minus of n minus 1 according to this twice integration you will get that is uh, what, what outside that is n minus 1 and integration that must be integ integration of symbol that is i n minus 2 i n minus 2 comma uh, cos to the power 1 x. Okay. The same thing which happens that is sin to the power n minus 2 x into cos x it is dx. Okay. That is what I have written in the last step. Now, you can transpose this term to the left side then i n will become once again i n in this case and you can make a combination by taking the common factor and then you can write that is i n and combination of this. So, what happens in that case? i n will be multiplied by n minus 1 that is 1 plus of n minus 1. <coughs> 1 plus of n minus 1 means that becomes n only. So, like this integration can be generalized and the reduction formula can be obtained without limits. Now, what is the integration of this one with limits? Integration of that term with limits you can write integration of 0 to pi by 2 that is i n is equal to sin to the power n x and then it is d x. So, this will give us two important results <coughs> that is n minus 1 in the numerator n minus 3 n minus 5 multiplied and so on divided by n into n minus 2 into n minus 4 and multiplied and so on if it is multiplied by last that is pi by 2 multiplied means that that is the simplification simplification in the sense after integrating repeatedly you will get pi by 2 when n is even when n is even then what uh, you have to take this one as uh, actually uh, in the second case n minus 1, n minus 3, n minus 5 and so on. All the numerators are so to be subtracted with the odd numbers. In the denominator even numbers. This is just like n minus 0, n into n minus 2, n minus 4 and multiplied and so on multiplied by 1 when n is odd number this is what the value of the definite integral with respect to integral of sin to the power n x. Now, I will go for cos to the power n x the second result for the reduction formula. Here I will do that it is cos function second result cos to the power n x then this is with the symbol it is cos to the power n x and this will be with cos function only. That is integration that is cos to the power n minus 1 x into cos x. Right, That becomes cos to the power plus 1 and n minus 1. That means n minus 1 plus 1 is equal to this cancels only you are getting n that means you will get back the original function original function is with the degree n okay so now once again i will take this as first function and this i will take it as second function because both are repeating terms now once again by parts we integrate using this formula i will write the value after integrating by parts so first term first term otherwise first function cos to the power n minus 1 x integration of cos x means sin x right minus integral of differential of 
first function. What is that integral of differential of first function? That is integral of differential means n minus 1 into cos to the power into cos to the power that is n minus 2 x into differentiation inside. That means it is minus of it is sin x correct. Huh? Then into integration of this cos becomes sin x this is dx. Now, you can take the simplification this is i n same type as we discussed in the previous result. Then sin x into cos to the power n minus 1 x minus here also minus is there. Okay. Let me check this is cos x differentiation minus x n minus 1 minus according to the rule and cos x is sin x that is right. Then plus of n minus 1 if I keep this n minus 1 outside then cos to the power n minus 2 and x into sin square x it is dx into sin square x dx. Then you can write this sin square as 1 minus cos square what is that sin x into cos to the power n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 into cos to the power n minus 2 x and this sin square we can write it as 1 minus cos square 1 minus cos square x and then it is dx. Now, take the simplification between those values on the right side that means there are two values you take uh, means two terms you can take multiplication inside i n is equal to sin x into cos to the power n minus 1 x and plus n minus 1 n minus 1 this quantity will be multiplied by 1 what it remains that is cos to the power n minus 2 cos to the power n minus 2 x and d x. Okay. There is a minus sign you put it minus sign okay. then minus of n minus 1 is multiplied along with this term to this cos square uh, that is along with integration that is n minus 1 right minus sign into sorry cos to the power this is n minus 2 and plus 2 that becomes cos to the power n x and then it is d x that gives sin x cos to the power n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 this becomes i n minus 2 and i n and this becomes i n minus of n minus 1 this is i n. As I told you that this is to be transposed common factor you have to take in the left side that common factor will be like this. When you take uh, to the left side the same symbol which you represented as i n because this i n and this i n both are same then i n transposing means shifting that is 1 plus n minus 1 because minus is there when you take to the left side that becomes plus sign equal to sin x and cos to the power n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 then it is i n minus 2. Then what you have to write this cancels as I told you n into i n is equal to sin x and cos to the power n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 n minus 1 multiplied to i n minus 2. Why I have taken this symbol as i n minus 2 because cos to the power n minus 2 whereas the cos to the power n x is i n in place of n you have the term as n minus 2 therefore replacing that bottom suffix as n by n minus 2. Now what is this finally i n is equal to integration cos to the power n x d x 
is equal to this n goes as denominator for both the terms. This is sin x cos to the power n minus 1 x whole divided by n plus n minus 1 by n this is i n minus 2. This is the reduction formula for second result. Second result is cos to the power n x dx. So, both are same that is uh, uh, in the previous one uh, with respect to the definite integral, but this is integration without limits the term first term will be different. First term will be different means there you had uh, cos x and then sin to the power n minus 1, but here you have interchange of those two that means sin x first and then cos x next. Now, this is the uh, indefinite integral we call that means integration without limits. Now, let i n same thing is equal to 0 to pi by 2 if you assign the limits assign the limits that is cos to the power n x dx. Uh, if you use this result as I written for the previous one I will write here also same thing and this result is same for both it is same n minus 1 is the first coefficient second coefficient odd number you have to write 1 3 5 7 9 like that it goes okay in the derivation it comes n minus 5 multiplied and so on it is uh, uh, multiplied at the end by pi by 2 n this is just like n minus 0 into n minus even number that is 2 n minus even number that is 4 multiplied and so on this should be multiplied by pi by 2 when n is even number exactly according to this I, I shall write uh, the problems and I, I shall solve the problems exactly by taking uh, this type of uh, uh, calculations that means definite integral for sin definite integral for cos and definite integral for product of the sin and cos. Now, what is the next step when n is odd? So, that will be ending with 1 instead of pi by 2 n minus 1 n minus 3 multiplied and so on whole divided by n into n minus 2 n minus 4 multiplied and so on multiplied by 1 when when n is odd number here even number that means I will clarify this in when I take the first problem itself in the first problem what is the power of this sign and what is the power of that cos what is the power of sin and cos together. So, all these three clarifications in first three problems I will clarify this is theoretical discussion. Now, you remember these important formulas. Now, one more result is there. Okay. Third case, third case let i n means i m comma n this is a product that is integration <laughs> sin to the power m minus 1 x into cos to the power uh, sorry m x and cos to the power n x it is d x. What is the reduction formula for this? and what is the reduction formula with limits this is without limits and with limits also we try and then whenever we come across the uh, product of sin and cos then we will use this result whenever only single term is there either cos or sin depending on the trigonometric function we will assign. So, you will come across only these three up to lateral entry uh, 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 discipline that is the syllabus you will uh, study on the basics of application of this cos to the power n sin to the power n and product of these two you make perfect on this. So, that next formula like uh, tan to the power n cot to the power n secant to the power n cosecant to the power n will be applicable only when some conversions are required conversions means tan in the form of sin and cos cot in the form of cos by sin and uh, secant in the form of 1 by cos and cosecant in the form of 1 by sin. So, now let me write uh, the reduction formula for this. Now, I shall take this as uh, same type 1 any 1 I will split the power that is sin to the power m minus 1 x 
into sin x, but I will club this term which I had taken from uh, this term, I will club with this for the uh, for some advantage that I will have to integrate that is cos to the power n x and it is d x. Now I will choose this is a first function, this is a second function. So, you must be a uh, little aware about uh, the substitution method, how this integration of this type of product directly I am going to write, I will do it separately then I will put the value, what is that uh, uh, direct uh, value. Anyway, I will represent this as equation 1. Now, what is the first term? First term means first into integral of second. So, when I speak like that integration of second, I must have the ready result for that. What is that ready result? I have to make the substitution for this and then I must get the uh, the value of that particular integral through the substitution method. Okay. So, let integration of sin x and cos to the power n x and d x. Okay. What is this? <coughs> how to integrate? We can integrate this. How to integrate? Put cos x is equal to t put cos x is equal to t, what is the advantage you get? Cos x equal to t means differentiation cos is sin, sin into dx is equal to dt, you can substitute. This implies minus sin x into dx equal to it is dt. Then what is this value? Integration this sin x into cos to the power n x dx is equal to integration uh, for what we have taken the substitution cos x that is sin x into dx we have taken as dt. Then t to the power n and dt by what value that is minus 1. This is equal to t to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 along with minus. Then what is the final form? minus of t uh, right back in the form of same function that is cos to the power n plus 1 x divided by it is n plus 1. Then now I will take this equation 1, what is the integration for this equation 1, how this integration is going to fall after choosing that substitution method and directly I am going to write that value means integration taken by substitution that value I am going to write. Okay. Now, I have chosen this as first function and this as second function. Now, equation 1 gives implies I m n I m n is equal to I m n is equal to first function it is sin to the power m minus 1 x. Okay and integration that is integration of second function minus of cos to the power n plus 1 x divided by n plus 1 okay, minus integral of differential of first function. What is integral of differential of first function? That is m minus 1 into sin to the power m minus 1 x. Okay. Then cos x into cos x <coughs> and integration of this okay. that is minus cos to the power into cos to the power n plus 1 x cos to the power n plus 1 x and it is divided by n plus 1 and d x. So, now you have to uh, club together this cos and this cos you will get the same thing here and m minus 1 along with the minus sign outside and integration this is sin to the power m minus 1 x and then cos x uh, anyway this is n plus 1 this also I will put it outside and cos into cos that is cos to the power it is n plus 2. Uh, this minus and this minus makes us plus sign n plus 2 x and then d x. Now, 
this cos to the power n plus 2 we can take as cos to the power n x and multiply it by cos to the power 2 x because uh, reduction formula we are writing this is the increased power but reduction means reduced we have to reduce the power whatever we have we are given as a problem but here the power is increased that we have to avoid so we are studying the heading as reduction formula then split this and then replace <laughs> that is equal to as it is now plus sign m minus 1 divided by n plus 1 and integration of it is sin to the power m minus 1 x and cos to the power n x into 1 minus sin square x into 1 minus sin square x that is integral of differential of first function integral of differential of first function means sin to the power uh, that is m minus 1 x into sin x differentiation is cos x into integration means cos to the power n x then cos to the power n plus 2 then here cos to the power n x we have written and cos square I am writing as 1 minus sin square x this is nothing but dx check once again that is m minus 1 comma n and cos x and this sin square. So, sin square you can club with this that is nothing but same value same value m plus 1 divided by n plus 1 okay. and then uh, this is sin square okay. write sin to the power m minus 1 x cos to the power n x and multiplied by <coughs> multiplied by uh, anyway it is dx if I separate and there is a minus sign plus sign minus into minus minus into plus minus then integration that is with this you have to multiply that is sin to the power uh, m minus 1 means m plus 1 x m plus 1 x and cos to the power it is n x and d x this is for i m n. Same type what we did here transposing in the previous result what we discussed transposing that term to the left side and we can write uh, the uh, reduction formula by shifting that i m n with the coefficient. Okay. So, that is the theoretical part of that uh, reduction formula and here the definite integral value for this product okay, value of integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power m x into cos to the power n x it is d x sin to the power m x and cos to the power n x d x. Okay. This is with uh, definite uh, limits as definite integral you can represent it as i m comma n. So, this will be proved in four different uh, cases, but only uh, three cases uh, you can expect one one case that is m minus 1 it starts from the first symbol m minus 3 into so on into n minus 1 into n minus 3. You know, from the reduction formula you can write and uh, multiplied and so on and divided by summation of these two that is m plus n first term m plus n minus 2 multiplied and so on multiplied by pi by 2 when, when both m and n are even when both m and n are even. Now, how many cases you can expect? m is even, n is even, this is the result. m is odd, n is odd, one more result. m is even, n is odd, m is odd, n is even. Totally four results you are going to discuss, but all those uh, three results, remaining three results will be multiplied by one, that I am going to write like this. Uh, m minus 1 same step you carry out m minus 3 multiplied and so on multiplied by n minus 1 into n minus 3 multiplied and so on 
and this divided by m plus n into m plus n minus 2 multiplied and so on. This is multiplied by 1 uh, except means 3 cases together you can write except when except when m and n are even, m and n are even. I hope you, you, you have understood meaning of this sentence, except when m and n are even, except when m and n are even means both are odd, one is odd, another is even and vice versa. So, three different cases other than the first case will exist. This is the part of uh, reduction formula in the integral calculus. These three results now, I will write some problems on these three results. How these reduction formulas uh, with the definite integral values we can achieve and we can apply these concept uh, for solving some complicated integrals. Now, we shall study some problems on these applications, applications of reduction formula. So, what you have now? I will write the formulas here integration of 0 to y by 2, it is sin to the power m x dx is equal to definite integral I am telling m minus 1, m minus 3 multiplied and so on, m into uh, that is sin to the power m x, uh, m into m minus 2 multiplied and so on multiplied by pi by 2 when n is even and same thing when m is odd, this is the result. Okay. And the same result holds good, the same result holds good or integration 0 to pi by 2, it is cos to the power m x dx or for both this numerical value is same. Okay. This is one result and in the case of product, what is that product? 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power m x cos to the power n x dx that is equal to <coughs> totally uh, two steps you have to write. One step will cover the meaning of both are even and another three uh, statements will cover other than both are even. Therefore, m minus 1 into m minus 3 multiplied and so on multiplied by n minus 1, n minus 3 multiplied and so on. This is divided by m plus n into m plus n minus 2 multiplied and so on. This is multiplied by pi by 2 when when uh, both m and n are even. Okay? And the same result is uh, can be uh, compared when another result here itself you can write same step you can carry out, it is multiplied by 1 except, except at m and n or even. So, this is the complete uh, study on the reduction formula. So, integration and differentiation will go in hand in hand and then these two results are more useful in solving some uh, integrals with limits where every time we cannot apply the product rule, where every time we cannot apply the uh, substitution method and to write the final value. So, now I shall take up some problems on reduction formula, how these uh, problems can be solved on the application of reduction formula. So, first problem on the application of uh, that is cos function and sin function, second problem also I will repeat one uh, example on cos function and sin function, then I shall repeat other cases for uh, 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 when m is even, n is even, m is odd n is odd, m is even, n is odd, m is odd, n is even. 
So these four uh, five problems if you study you will come to know and later application of this will go for different types of uh, integration problems. Okay. First problem otherwise some group of problems I will write example find integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 4 x okay. second one 0 to pi by 2 this is sin to the power 5 x dx dx okay. uh, this you can treat it as second right this you can treat it as first and the third integration 0 to pi by 2 uh, that is cos to the power 3x dx and fourth one integration that is cos to the power 4x dx that is 0 to pi by 2 and that is fifth one integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 4x cos to the power 6x dx okay and sixth one integration sin to the power that is between 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power uh, this is 3x and cos to the power 5x okay dx and seventh one uh, sorry uh, sixth is there now seventh one integration 0 to pi by 2 both are odd now sin to the power it is 3x cos to the power 4x right dx and the last one so eighth one you can think of opposite form that is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 4x and cos to the power it is 3x otherwise 5x you can write into dx. These problems carefully observe uh, carefully uh, collect the meaning of the problems this is e1 power this is odd power function is same function is same this is odd power this is e1 power individual cos and sin and now the product that is sin and cos product you have to take this product as for both are e1 both are odd this is odd and e1 this is e1 and odd I have written all the problems after this application problems I shall discuss now uh, one by one let me write the answer you observe these results exactly according to that one one by one I will write the solutions first solution first problem <laughs> that is <coughs> sin to the power 4x so one sample I will show 0 to pi by 2 it is sin to the power 4x dx here n equal to 4 what do you call this one even number n is equal to 4. So when n is even that should be ending with pi by 2 okay then this is equal to so n equal to 4 means 4 minus 1 into 4 minus 3 and 4 minus 5 you should not write because it is uh, that gives the simplification as minus 1 that is the negative index of the uh, bracketed quantity. So that negative index we should not write and you have to end up to positive index that means this should be greater than this number here 4 is there 4 minus 1 according to this according to second term 4 minus 3 next is m minus 5 that should not be written if here 5 is given that also should not be written because it is 0 and above uh, sorry it should not be 0 but it is above 0 therefore that should be the last term denominator <coughs> that is 4 into 4 minus 2 into 4 minus 4 here also should not be written because next number immediately is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 that should be above 0 that means positive index and this is multiplied by it is pi by 2 that means why it is pi by 2 because it is the even number even number means there it is uh, ending with uh, pi by 2 then we can take 
uh, the last uh, coefficient as pi by 2. So what is the simplification? 4 minus 1 is 3 into 1, uh, this is divided by 4 into 2 into pi by 2. What is the answer? 3 divided by 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16. That is for 3 by 16 into pi, this is your answer. You can check this value with uh, even number. Now I shall uh, take another example that is with odd number. Second one, 0 to it is pi by 2, that is sin to the power 5x dx. Here n is equal to 5, it is called odd number. Then you apply this second result that is equal to 5 minus 1. You need not to make any substitution. So directly you can go for reduction formula application. Then 5 minus 1, 5 minus 3 and 5 minus 5 you should not take. That is the end of it. Then 5, okay, m minus 2, that is 5 minus 2. But next term also works, that is 5 minus 4 because this is an even number into this is odd number multiplied by 1. So what is finally you are getting? 5 minus 1 is 4, 5 minus 3 is 2 and 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 5 minus 4 is 1. Your answer will be 4 twos are 8 and 5 threes are 15. 8 divided by 5 threes are 15. This is for sine trigonometric function. I hope you can do that cos function, same formula. There is no change in that. Identify uh, what value of n, what kind of value of n, whether it is even number or it is odd number. Then you can think of this calculation as 8 divided by 15 for this. Likewise, uh, end with pi by 2 and end with 1. Uh, speaking that uh, n is even and n is odd. Now I shall take uh, the product uh, formula, uh, product integration. This is the fifth one. I will take then integration 0 to it is pi by 2. It is sine to the power 4x and cos to the power it is 6x cos to the power 6x dx. Here what you are taking? m is equal to 4, n is equal to 6 and both are nothing but even numbers, even numbers. Then even numbers means this first formula ending with pi by 2. Then 4 minus 1 and second term that is 4 minus 3, you have to end this one and 4 minus 5 we should not take because 5 is greater than 4, negative index you are getting in the bracket that should not be selected. Then uh, 6 minus 1, next you have to start this 6 because of n minus 1. n minus 1 means this is all multiplication everywhere that you have to carry out. 6 minus 3 and 6 minus 5 and this is whole divided by, whole divided by what is that? Uh, m plus n, that means 4 plus 6, how much? 10. So this is 10 minus 2. 10 minus 4, 10 minus 6, 10 minus 8 and 10 minus 10 should not be taken. As I told you, it should be above 0. That means it should be a positive index. Then, so since both are even, you will multiply by this quantity by pi by 2. Let me simplify this quantity. What in the numerator you are getting? 4 minus 1. It is 3 into 1 into 5 okay, into 3 into 1 and divided by 10 into 8, 10 minus 2, 4 that is 6, that is 4 and 10 minus 8 is 2 and multiply by it is pi by 2. If any simplification is possible, you can do that. Uh, easily simplification is possible. By 3 you can divide and uh, 3 to the 6, one term. By 5 you can divide, that is 5 to the 10. What else? I, I do not think. That is 3 is there. In the numerator that becomes, in the numerator that becomes uh, 3 and pi. So this is equal to 
3 pi divided by 2 okay 8 into 2 into 4 into 2. So, whatever the quantity you are getting that you can notice uh, the pro complete product of that will be the final answer. This is the case of when both are even. So, remaining 3 cases same type you carry out but ending with 1. Let me check. Any one problem I will select, okay. this only I will select when both are not even terms. Both means M and N. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Then solution. This is for 0. Now, here M equal to 3, it is odd number and n is equal to 4 that is even number. Okay. Then this is 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2 sin cube x cos to the power 4 x and then dx that is equal to that is equal to you write in the same fashion 3 minus 1 that is 3 minus 3 should not be written and next is 4 minus 1 and 4 minus 3 is allowed, 4 minus 3 is allowed and divided by 3 plus 4 that is 3 plus 4 is 7, it is 7 minus 2, 7 minus 4 and 7 minus 6 is also allowed because 6 is less than 7 into that is 1 when m is odd and n is odd. Then final result it is 2 into 3 into 1 divided by 7 into 5 into 3 into 1 into 1 that is 2 3s are 6 and <coughs> 35 into 3 otherwise 7 into 5 into 3. So, whatever that comes you can write it. Uh, up to this topic I will stop now then I shall continue the problems on uh, application of these reduction formulas but with various uh, functions under the integral sign. Thank you.